Hello my chickens, welcome to my channel. So I feel like I say that in the exact same tone every single intro. Welcome to my channel. Okay, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a makeup look that is suitable for the gym or the beach or the pool or anything like that. I personally don't wear makeup to any of those occasions. I mean, the beach sometimes when I'm taking photos, let's be real. But when I'm going to the gym, I never wear makeup. But this is for people that don't feel comfortable going without makeup or they just want to put makeup on to feel better. Whatever the reason is, it doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right into the video. I'm going to go down to the pool and gym after and do a little workout and swim. So I'll take you guys with me and we'll see how it all lasts on my skin. So the first thing that I'm doing is taking this Dermalogica Oil Free Matte SPF. This one has an SPF of 30. So obviously if you're going out in the sun, you always want to apply sunscreen. And I really like this one because this doesn't disturb the makeup in any way. And it also keeps the face nice and matte. So that's amazing considering I'm going to be sweating and all of that. So I don't want to be, I mean, obviously I'm still going to sweat, but like, it's still going to make the face not as shiny as it would be. I'm just going to give this one a good shake and put it on the back of my hand. And then I'm just going to paint this all over my face with a paddle brush. It literally smells like fruit. Like it's very citrusy and refreshing. You obviously want to make sure you are applying sunscreen every day if you are going out in the sun. Um, I personally don't go out in the sun a whole lot, but when I do, I do like to apply this. And it's super light on the skin as well. It says on the back that the sunscreen helps prevent breakout prone skin, which is amazing because as you can see, I've been breaking out quite a bit and I don't need anything making my pimples or breakouts or anything any worse. And a lot of those really thick, oily sunscreens can do this. So I would definitely recommend this one. And I do have a discount code that goes to the end of December if you guys are interested in saving 20%. So you can use the code SHINY20 at checkout. I'll leave that link down below if you guys are interested. But Let's go ahead and move on to the base. So, I mean, I definitely was going to skip concealer. I meant foundation. I think I might skip it still because, like, I personally would never wear, like, a foundation to the gym. If you do, that's totally fine. I was going to use the tinted moisturizer, but I think I can just, like, work with concealer. So, I'm going to take this one by Maybelline. This is the Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light. So, this one isn't actually too light, so I'm hoping it's not going to highlight the pimples. It's just going to really conceal them so if you do have active pimples make sure you put it on with a brush um and don't just like pop it on the pimples because that could spread the pimples <laughs> and yes i'm doing exactly what i shouldn't be doing but like then i'm just going to take a little paddle brush and i'm just going to lightly dab over all those pimples i don't want to move it around too much just because it will disturb that concealer and I really need it to cover all these bad boys because I'm over it. I'm really just over it. By the way, this brush is the Real Techniques Essential Foundation Brush. I also chose this concealer as well because it's super lightweight so it doesn't feel like you have anything on your face at all. And of course, I'm just going to take that concealer and put a little bit under my eyes as well to get any thought to get rid of those purple tones under there. This is going to really make me look awake and I'm just gonna put a bit more on that pimple on that pimple because they're just like really big okay so it is go away slightly dabbing over and under my eyes I'm just gonna take whatever's left over my eyelid as well just to hide some of those veins beautiful I'm gonna go ahead and set that down with my Rimmel stay matte powder I'm just going to pat underneath my eyes very gently for starters so that doesn't crease under there and then also on my eyelid. And I'm also just going to set wherever's shiny on my face. Even though we're going to sweat our hearts out very soon. That's totally fine. Alright, there's literally nothing on my forehead. Say hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> You're so cute. Alright, next I'm going to take um, a lip balm. This is the Lano Lips Lip Balm. I like to put it on the border of my lips as well, so it creates the illusion of bigger lips. Like I kind of put lip balm outside of my lips. <laughs> okay, so time for the eyebrows. It really depends what you want to do with your brows. You can, of course, go in with an eye, uh, an eyebrow product that is like kind of waterproof. Um, me personally, I don't really need to fill my brows in because they're super bold as they are. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the Benefit Gimme Brow um, Eyebrow Gel in the shade three. This is gonna color them, make them a bit darker. And also make them a bit more full because there's little fibers in it. So I'm just going to push them up. I love this stuff so much. I've been using it my whole life. Nah, I've been using it like pretty much since it came out though. 
Next up, I'm going to curl my eyelashes to make them look a little bit longer because my lashes are so short, so I'm like over it. Just makes them look a tiny bit longer for a little bit. Obviously, when you go in the pool, the whole, whole purpose of this is just going to go out the door, but that's all right. Then for the mascara, I'm going to take the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. Obviously, you want to use a waterproof mascara because it's going to transfer all over your lids if you're going to the gym. And obviously, if you're swimming, I mean, even if you're not swimming, you're just going to sweat and it's just going to get all smudgy and black. So, this is a must for me. Next, I'm just going to take a tiny bit of blush. This one is the Tarte Blush in the shade Exposed. I feel like I just need a little bit of color on my cheeks because it's looking a little bit dull. I mean, this is like essentially what I covered on my face, right? The pink on my cheeks, but like I'm putting it back on. Whatever. It makes everything look super natural anyway. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with this Anastasia Liquid Glow in the shade Perla. So I'm just going to put this... On the back of my hand, just a really small amount. And then I'm going to take my beauty blender, take the bum of that and just bounce that on my cheekbones. As you can see, it adds a really nice glow to the face. Um, you don't need to do this if you don't feel like being extra AF, but that's just me. Love a bit of a glow, even when I'm going to be sweating my hole off. This is not recommended to curl your lashes after you put mascara on, but once again, a good role model, right? Lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. This is the Glam Glow one. It smells really good, so I just use it all the time. Oh. oh my god, it actually tastes pretty good too. Oh, here we have the finished makeup look. I think it looks super cute, super healthy, and glowy and natural, which is amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the makeup portion. Now I'm gonna go jump in the pool and see how it looks on my face. So I'm going to the hairdressers in a few hours and I'm gonna have to go there with gross chlorine hair. So blame YouTube. One, two. Oh, oh wait. What? Something there. Is there something there? Yeah. Waterproof? What do you mean waterproof? I just did one dunk. I'm over it. See ya. Okay, so my makeup is on. Still, I'm really impressed with how it's lasted. I'm trying not to rub my eyes too much because like, obviously that's when everything is going to be like, bye. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you very soon. Bye.